How's it going everyone? This is Kevin. Today I want to bring along with me to talk about the three reasons why this lens could not be for you. So let's jump right into it. So I've done plenty of videos talking about the great things about this lens and everything that I enjoy about it. But what I haven't covered is the reasons why this lens might not be for you. But if you want to see all the positives about this lens and all the awesomeness and goodness that I've already covered, you can check the videos up here. But otherwise, strap in because we're going to cover the reasons why you shouldn't get this lens. Reason number one of why this lens isn't for you. Simply put, you believe that size matters. Despite having all the focal range and length that you have with this lens, the weight of it and the size of it for some people is a very big turnoff because it just, it's a little bit of a monstrosity when it comes down to setting it up with your full frame camera. And if you're wanting to have a compact and smaller size kind of setup, this lens is just really not for you. The size of this lens is just made bigger because of the focal range that it covers as well of it being an f2 to 2.8 and when it comes down to comparison with a 28 to 75 by tamron or even the 70 to 180 has a little bit more girth and size that it just a lot of people don't really want to deal with and you know bring along with them so despite having a lot more focal range when it comes down to the setup if you're looking to have something more condensed down and smaller this lens isn't for you especially if you're trying to keep a more subtle kind of style of setup because if you're doing street photography you can call more attention to yourself with this setup so this isn't for you if you're looking to be more discreet. So you're honestly better off finding a condensed size zoom lens or just prime lenses when it comes down to this lens setup because the 35 to 150 is just a little bit girthier and it's a chunky boy. So having traveled with this lens, it is a little bit more tiring to have than if you have a more condensed prime lens or zoom lens like a 28 to 75 or a 24 to 70. And you might be better off with just one of those. As we see here, a wild trolley going through the woods. Second reason why this isn't for you, if your budget doesn't allow it. So if your budget doesn't allow to get a lens that's more on the pricier kind of premium side like these ones, especially with this setup, it's a little bit more pricier than the usual Tamron lenses. For example, you're better off probably getting a Sigma 24 to 70 or a Tamron 28 to 75s, and those tend to be about the thousand dollar range. So sure, getting a Sigma 24 to 70 or a Tamron 28 to 75 won't get you the focal range like this one with an F2 to 2.8, but you're still getting a good bang for your buck. So despite all that, you're still able to save some money, get some good focal ranges if you get any of those lenses to be able to put more money into different gear that you might need. The third reason why this lens isn't for you. If for whatever reason you need to stabilize more than 90% of your footage, this lens isn't for you. While this lens is very awesome, it does not come with IBIS. That makes it a little bit more unstable when it comes down to shooting some video if you're doing handheld and another thing about that is just gets a little bit heavy after a while of shooting with a stabilizer or a gimbal it's a little bit of a hassle having a bigger setup like this because you're having to have a gimbal that can also have the capabilities to put a bigger setup like this I've done projects filming with this setup with my gimbal and honestly after a while it does get very tiring just because of the setup of a heavier gimbal plus the heavier lens and body. Putting it all together it does get tiring so if you're a type of person that's going to be needing to be shooting for like six eight hours consistently might not be the lens for you. So if your current gimbal setup cannot hold a bigger camera setup like this you're going to have to also spend some more money which if your budget doesn't allow to spend on more lens kind of like this you're not going to be able to spend on a gimbal if you're really looking to do that kind of line of work as well but overall if you can manage having a heavier setup with a gimbal and you're not having to really spend more money on another gimbal that can host this type of lens and body then by all means probably is for you but if you're not really wanting to get your arms tired like perhaps you shoot weddings and have to hold something for a long period of time you might be better off getting a more condensed zoom lens that will save you more on your time and effort while you're out there shooting consistently and for a bonus reason of why you shouldn't get this lens simply enough if you're not patient so what i mean by that is mainly this lens is hard to get 
Right now, you are not gonna be able to find it that easily online. It's most of the time sold out, it's back ordered, whatever you wanna go with. And that makes it hard for people to be patient enough to buy it, which makes them do some impulse buying for other lenses, regret it, and then want to hopefully get this one. So if you can't be patient to wait for this lens to be available, whether it's a couple weeks, a couple months, cause who knows when this will be in stock, probably not the lens for you. All in all, if these reasons resonate with you, then it's probably not the lens for you. For me, personally, it's been phenomenal of a lens. Made plenty of videos about that. Today, I wanted to focus a little bit more on the negative, not so much spec-wise, but more on the realistic side of whether it's the weight, the, the, the money, how much it'll be for you, and also using it for the stabilization with a gimbal. Those are mo most of the stuff that people kind of complain about. So, if those resonate with you, don't get this lens, find something better for you. But if it's not a bother and it doesn't really matter, this is a lens for you to get and hopefully you can get one anytime soon. But with all that said and done guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe, share this video with a friend. I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.